Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. Today's kind of a miscellaneous video. I've got the new Tundra back here, and there's a couple of things I need to do. Uh, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. First one is to improve visibility. If you look at the back of the truck, through the window, what do you see? Well, these big headrests back here, which are fine if you have somebody riding in the back, but if you don't, you don't really need those protruding up into your line of sight, right? Now, like the Tacoma, you can actually move these down. All you have to do is push in on the little nubs over here, pull it up, which I've already done, and let it drop. It's amazing to me the improvement in visibility you get from the driver's seat with those down. I mean, just take a look at the way that it looks now. You can see right behind the driver's seat as compared to the passenger seat. So we got to put the other one down. This is very simple, of course, but I realize there may be some folks out there who are unaware that you can do this. Pull up and let it drop, that's it. You want even better, you could go ahead and push in and remove them all together and store them somewhere. I don't think that's really necessary. I think it's just fine the way that they are. Now, I will note, when you're going over bumps and things, you may see them or catch them out of the corner of your eye in the rear view mirror. They will bounce around a little bit. So if you're particular uh, to those kind of things, that might drive you nuts a little bit. Doesn't bother me in the least. Now you can see the view or the visibility that I'll get out of the back of the truck. Next up, I didn't know this, but the tailgate is actually electronic now. There's a couple of little pads or one big pad under here. You just push up and you'll hear the solenoid or the electric release, whatever you want to call it, engage. And you just let it drop down. Pretty darn slick. Now, I forgot that I actually have a step over here because I'm going to crawl up in the bed to do the next thing I'm going to do. But I thought it'd be interesting to test this. Can you actually step in? So you just kind of grab it and pull down like so. Probably could do it with your foot too. I don't know. But it gives you a way to step up into the bed as opposed to dragging out a ladder. So does it actually work? Well, let's see. You just step on it and throw your other leg over and you're in. Pretty darn simple, I know, right? But nonetheless... It's there, it's a neat little thing to have, I think. Next up, we need to remove these little stickers that the driver put on, or the dealer rather put on, and put my own on. So we're gonna do that, pretty simple to do. You just peel them off. I've got a uh, razor blade in case there's any residual adhesive on there. One thing to be careful of, let's see if these protrude through. Now they're really on the inside. There are lines across here for defrosting. If they, for some reason, protruded through, which they don't, they're on the inside. Now you wouldn't want to cut them with a razor blade, but that's not a concern here. So let's get these off and get my new stickers put on. All right, again, this is pretty simple. One of these is even coming off anyway. I think it actually got wet in the back. So, we'll just pull this off. So, that one is pretty simple, not too difficult to do. This one, on the other hand, uh, it says built here lives here because these are built in Texas, of course. Let's go ahead and grab an edge. Again, pretty simple to do. Not rocket science, I realize. And does not look like we have any residual. Uh, adhesive on there, although I'm going to be particularly picky and shine a light on it just to make sure. And I don't see anything. A little bit of gunk or something right there. Might as well take that off while I'm at it. Don't see anything else. Well, take that back. There's a little more. Uh, on the window. Going to go ahead next and uh, just wash it off because obviously I want it to be clean. And then I'll show you how I'm going to align the sticker, uh, best that I can anyway. And by the way, this is the window that goes all the way down. The sticker is thin enough that that shouldn't be an issue. It won't impede the window in any way. 
if anybody's concerned about that. I've done this before on, uh, I think, on a Tundra that had the retractable rear window all the way down, which I love that feature, by the way. Uh, but no, it won't, uh, it won't get in the way or hamper the window going down. All right, window is nice and clean. Now, the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to use just a piece of tape, one inch or so, whatever this is, just to put right along the base down here. That's going to be my spacer, if you will, so that I can hopefully uh, get these equidistant from the bottom on both sides. So let me stick a piece of tape on there. And I would use painter's tape or something. I mean, you don't want something where the adhesive is going to come off. You just clean the window to get rid of adhesive, so you don't want to really put any more on, right? Just kind of stick that on there, like so. We'll do that on both sides. And then I'm going to put another piece right along this edge, just so I can get the same distance on each edge. That's what I'll use to space it, if you will, when I install it on the other side, too. Who'd have thought stickers could be so complicated, right? Depends on what you, uh, what you want your end product to be. I want mine to be equal, so... That's why I'm going to this probably over-the-top extreme. Now, obviously, let's take the back off of your sticker. Hopefully get it aligned properly on there so that uh, it's straight up and down, level if you will, and that's it. So we'll do this side and then we'll do the other side. That step is awesome. I highly recommend it if uh, it's an option when you buy your truck or don't worry that it's been added, you will use it. Unless you're like seven foot four and can just step into the back of the truck, it is awesome. I don't need a step ladder anymore to get in my truck. Anyway, this was just a kind of a miscellaneous new Tundra video, uh, showing you guys a couple of things, testing out a couple of things for myself. I love the stickers on the back. I think I got them fairly even. Have a look here, see what you think. I think they came out pretty good. Obviously, it's to advertise the channel. If you're new here and you haven't, by the way, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. We've got some things coming for this truck, as well as a big cross-country trip, although it's going to be next summer. But we're going to sleep in the back of it. I'm going to be getting a mattress to put back there. That should be very interesting. Haven't slept in a vehicle in many, many years. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know, especially if you have that little step down there. Do you find it handy or do you never touch it? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.